I'm Patrick Byers, Horticulture Field Specialist with University of Missouri Extension. Let's talk about chip budding. So the first thing we need is a good workspace. Make sure that it's a surface that you can clean and sanitize. And we'll go ahead and spray down my tray here with some rubbing alcohol. Make sure you have plenty of elbow room and good light. Keep a first aid kit handy in case you nick your fingers. The next thing you need to think about is what you're actually going to use to make the cuts. And you could certainly use a knife. That would be fine as long as it's very sharp. I prefer to use a box knife with a fresh blade because, again, I know that it's very sharp. We'll disinfect our box knife as well. The next step is to lay down the uh, rootstock and the scion piece and find an area where they are roughly the same diameter. Now, again, remember, it's so important that the bud orientation be kept in mind. In other words, up is up and down is down. You'll notice on this piece of scion wood that we've cut the bottom in a sloping cut so that we know where the bottom of the scion piece is. So we'll find an area where they're similar in diameter, and that looks like right about here will work. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the rootstock to receive the bud from the scion piece. So holding the rootstock with the roots away from you, take the blade of your knife, find an area between buds that's good and smooth, take the blade, push it into the wood, and cut away from yourself. You want to do this very carefully and deliberately so that you don't cut your fingers and also so that you do a nice smooth cut on the rootstock piece. So make the cut about an inch long like we see here. I'll show it to you from the side. Then we pull the blade out. We take the blade where the end of the cut is, like we see here, and tip it slightly back towards ourselves. We then cut into the wood to remove this piece of the rootstock, like we see there. There's the piece that's been removed. Our rootstock is now ready to receive the bud. Taking the bud, again, with the basal or lower end away from you, find a good, good, nice, clean bud, place the blade roughly a half inch above the bud, and then cut into the scion piece. Now, when you get below, or when you get directly beneath the bud, you're going to find that it's hard to make the wood, wood cut at that point. At this point, I like to rock the blade, and again, be very careful here because this is where you're going to cut yourself if it's going to happen, and continue cutting until you're below the blade, or below the bud. If your blade slips out, that's fine. Move on to another bud and try again. Keep cutting until you're about a half inch below the uh, bud, like we see here. You can see how we've done that. Now, the bud piece should be the same length as the area that we removed from the rootstock. So it can be helpful just to place them side by side and decide where that needs to be. Place the blade above at the end of the cut, tip it back slightly towards yourself, and then sever the bud piece from the scion wood, like we see here. So this is now our scion piece, a single bud. This will grow into a new tree. Now working quickly so that the bud piece doesn't have a chance to dry out, we place it onto the rootstock, filling that space that, that we removed from the rootstock. You can see how nicely this one fits. If the bud piece is noticeably smaller than the rootstock, line it up as best you can along one side. Okay, now holding it in place with your finger, take a piece of parafilm, and I like to start below the bud, wrap it around until it sticks to itself, like this, and then position the bud so that it's back where you want it, and then holding the rootstock, begin to wrap. Now, as you're wrapping, make sure that you don't actually cover the bud itself, but you want to cover all of the other cut surfaces. So continue wrapping and wrap above and below the bud, like we see here. Now we'll drop down below the bud. Again, all the time concentrating on covering all the cut surfaces, but not covering the bud itself. And I like to act end my wrapping below the bud so that if it rains on it, the water will be shed away. So there is our completed chip bud. You'll notice that I've not covered the bud with the, the uh, parafilm. Okay, so to review, first of all, a surface that you can clean and sanitize, plenty of elbow room, good lighting, a first aid kit. Lay your rootstock and your scion next to each other to find an area where they are the similar in diameter. Make sure that the bud orientation is correct. Remove a piece from the rootstock, cutting away from yourself. Remove a corresponding piece that includes a bud from the scion wood. Place on the rootstock, wrap with parafilm, being careful not to actually cover the bud itself. The final step is to label the uh, graft. In this case, it's the apple called of our liberty. And also note on your tag, the rootstock. In this case, it's M7.
And here we have the finished chip bud.